So our balance sheet. Uh, so I start by laying out the blank document as I normally do, and we'll have our fixed assets. So we had equipment at the beginning. Uh, then we bought a machine, uh, and then we bought a computer. Uh, current assets, we're going to probably have cash. We could have a bank overdraft. We'll go back and have a look at our bank document for that. We'll have debtors. Uh, current liabilities, we'll have creditors. So we just start with that as our basic structure. So um, first of all, the equipment figure. So we've got depreciation on the equipment of five grand and uh, depreciation of computer of 50. So if we go with the normal headings you have for this, so cost, depreciation, and net book value. So the equipment originally cost 52 grand. So we've got that from the original uh, up here. Depreciation. Well, 42 taken with 52 means 12 grand. So there's 12 grand depreciation written away on that so far, plus another uh, 5 grand that was written off this year. So that makes a total of 17 grand. So the net book value is those two numbers taken away. Uh, the machines. The machine cost 24. We're going to take away the depreciation of the machine, which is 1500. And the computer cost 800. Our depreciation of computer is 50. So that means uh, those two taken away is our netbook value. And I'll add all of our fixed assets together. Closing stock. Uh, so the closing stock, we'll go back up to the one we have up here. Closing stock of 10,500. Debtors. So I need to go back up to my uh, cash flow statement here uh, our cash budget here so the debtors one month so uh, the sales in june of 40 grand uh 20 percent of that hasn't been paid because that's on credit so that 10 grand is the only figure that goes in for debtors uh, so 10 grand now uh just have a quick check on cash uh, we do have cash at the end, so it's a plus number my closing balance is. So 8580 uh, is cash. 8580, and that's cash. Um, now, I'm just looking here at uh, our uh, the opening little mini balance sheet. I had rates prepaid at the beginning. So do I have rates prepaid now? So when I paid my rates... Um, in April, uh, three months of it I've used up, so it's 1400 or three months that I've carried over from the end of this year, so that will be a race prepaid for next year, or next six months. So we'll have, uh, so it's 2800 um, times 36, so 36 of it was already used up uh, during this six months. So these are the three six carried over to the next one. Okay, so we'll add all of our current assets together. Current liabilities, creditors. So and it doesn't. There's nothing about us owing any money for anything else uh, listed there. So go to creditors. So it's this figure here. The creditors one month. So this is stuff that was bought because the purchase happened during the six month period. And of that, 90% of it hasn't yet been paid. So 36450, that's going to be our creditor. So 36450. And normally I'll put my creditors in this column, add them all up. I sell my current liabilities, but there's only one, so I'll put it straight into that column. So uh, my working capital then is my current assets, take away my current liabilities. And I'm going to add that to my fixed assets. So I end up with we'll a minus number, so I'll obviously be taking that away. So I get 52,280 uh, as my net assets. So my ordinary share capital, given the beginning of the question, is 16,250. And then my retained profit, so that's the figure I had at the end here of my trading profit and loss, that final number there. So I'll add those two numbers together, and that will give me my capital employed. Uh, now, that number, it, it turns out that it is correct because our two figures match up. If they don't match up, my advice to you is still finish the question. 
still out of everything. Give yourself one minute to have a look and see if you can spot the mistake. If you can't, leave it.